podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know, my dad will go on. Man, you know what? You know, you, you know, give us a little more. You know, we sick of just getting one guan. Give us something else. Come on. What you want to know? Oh, there. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. And when you, hey, you might be in trouble when you start talking yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Man, my boy King Noah is in the building, man. Seven Kings, man. What's going on, man? Man, it's a lot going on right now. I know. I came down here yeah. to get it. Yeah, I said, man, man, when I seen you last night, uh, night, night before, before last, last, I was like, man, you know, uh, it's a new level. You know, we we packed it out. Yeah. I say we now. Don't get it twisted. We packed it out. This thing is is live up in here. And the second scene looked like it was the second show, and looked like it was packed out as well because the people that was yeah. downstairs waiting to come Did in. Did you stay for the second show? Yeah, I had to stay. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, I had to stay up. My OG, uh, D. Rick was like, "Hey, make sure you stay in there and make sure nobody ain't videoing it." So he put me. I was on security duty as well, being a boss. <laughs> but how can you watch all of that? Because y'all were sitting right here. There's no way you can watch to make sure everybody nobody's videoing it. Man, you know my sister, you know a queen. I think we had like 25 uh, security. Mm, yeah, in the movie that, day, just yeah. posted up. You know, just posted up in there. Just make sure everything was. Uh, Safe and secure. Safe and secure. Well, I had a good time, you know, and let's just be real, because this Boss Talk 101, you know, I, I calls ahead, like, what's the temperature like? Everything good? you like, you with me, everything great. I, I oh, come yeah. down here and had me a great time, and I want to tell you thank you for inviting me and my wife down. Um, hey, man, uh, we going to always come and support and try to figure out what y'all got going, because we love y'all, bro. Yeah. Real talk. Hey, the feelings are mutual, man, so, you know, the, that was the movie premiere, uh, Seven Kings, uh, D Reg, and A Queens. Uh, my OG and my sister, they, we partnered up together to uh, really bring the city together. Uh, you know, D Reg always believe in uh, if if we together, united together, nobody, we, you know, it's, it's hard to beat when everybody come together. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when we decided to pick the characters and pick the role, uh, I guess D Reg was just, he waited so long to. Pick the right time, the right moment, the right, the right partner, the right everything. And he, and he kind of, uh, 20 some years, you know, I was a kid myself back then. So, you know, it was a movie, film that I always loved, I was watching. And I, and I'm, I believe in when you speak things, you can manifest into mm -hmm. uh, I agree with that. Into life. And so uh, when I was a kid, you know, a lot of people, I never even said this, I never put this on camera, but d Ray was always one of the guys that I always want to be be like as a kid mm, but it wasn't, it, it wasn't just saying him i liked the name in the movie he was a street yeah yeah and so I, when i was in high school um back in mississippi you know people in mississippi you know we kind of the culture like back then was like okay we wanted to be the the uh rig shop the rapper lights we wanted to be in that you know that that's we were picking up their sauce because one yeah, thing yeah, about yeah. H Town they got their sauce everywhere. Yeah, you know what yeah. Because uh, it just it just got something to do. You know, it's it's crazy because I, I heard even Big Crit one time say that he he they asked him you know who did he, he who did he uh, lean toward more was it Atlanta or was it was it Houston with his sound and he ended up saying it was Houston because of the way that you know the sauce the way that the feel of the music is the yeah. way that the sound the screw the the whole episode Sonic event when it come down to the movement of the music, and I thought that was hard. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, Houston give you that 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 old school feeling with a little soul in it. Man, you know. Uh, but New Orleans is doing something like that too, though. Well, you know, New Orleans. It's more like they give, they, they, no New Orleans give you a jazz with a bounce. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You right. know, with jazz with a bounce, but. Houston give you that soul feeling that make you want to groove. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, what was you doing when David Banner first came out and them guys? No, that's around my age bracket. That's uh, what I'm saying. So DB from um, he kind of like a, uh, but like Hattiesburg, Jackson. He in that area from that area. I'm from Natchez, uh, which is the bottom of Mississippi. Yeah, and that's down by Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So yeah. where we from? We more on that Louisiana. We was on that cash money. We yeah, was on yeah, that, yeah. We was on that jig music. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. So, you know, different eras. Different, different eras. Like, like in Dallas and Houston, they probably, in Dallas, they got, they lit, so, you know, a style. So in Mississippi and Natchez, we have, we paddling out the Louisiana. Yeah, That's why yeah. we hit jig so fat. 
you know, everybody all try to compare him to a young boy. You know what I'm saying? Because I just asked him about young boy a little earlier because I was like, man, you know, with y'all being, you know, basically, you know, cash money affiliated and he being it, I'd love to see Jay so fat and NBA, NBA young boy do something together. Man, we working on that. That's all in the uh that's in the that's in the that's in the pipeline. That's hard. Yeah, that's in the pipeline, but you know that's that's uh slim when when yeah. Slim say that time, then that's when it's time. That which is hard. And so, you know, GSO, he's still growing as an individual first. Yeah, yeah. You know, before an uh, artist. Yeah. So we, we, uh, I'm, I'm going back to ground with him. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I, we took him too fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. So sometimes people got to catch the ground. Yeah. Just because, you know, most people don't come out the gate with an AP watch. That's you know real. Saying? That's so, real. So, uh he missed those steps right there. Yeah. So sometimes you got to go back and, and you know and go back to ground, get that ground foundation because that's what's staying. Yeah, and I think that's the most important thing is you you talking about discipline as well. And I, I know that people don't like to really deal with that word, but discipline and respect run along the same lines. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when you see discipline or disciple, you know these words are, they they really mean something. They're significant to growth, to structure, mm -hmm. to foundation, and that's the whole game when it come down to dealing with. Uh, building something that's going to be uh, everlasting, something that's going to take people uh, and put them in a place where generational wealth becomes something right. of a of a essence, and that's the whole game. You know, like I said last night on my back, I got tatted uh, Proverb thirteen and. 22, a good father leaves an inheritance to his children's his children. children. Yeah. So this is something that we gotta we gotta focus in on. Yeah. You know, we gotta figure out a way how to inject something that can change the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. And that's gonna all be built up on discipline. Yep. All be built up on structure. Yeah. You know, I'm one of the men, so I believe in structure. You know, um, I had to have it. Yeah. You know, I, even in my household. My kids, I believe in structure. Yeah. You know, you leaving somewhere, I need to know where you're going, with who, and why. Yeah. I need to know all, and then I got to let everybody who's in the house know, hey, such and such leaving, such and such, say should be back at this time. It's always, I believe, in order. Because I feel like when a good man is protecting you, everything is in decency and order. In order, yeah, yeah. You, you know? got, you, you know, the, the the good books say the steps of a good mm -hmm. man is ordered by the Lord. And, 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 you know, you can tell when the spirit starts to interconnect because there have been people sitting in this chair all week long, or all these last few days. And, and, and when you sit in this chair, I automatically, because you're so open and upfront like me to talk about God, I feel comfortable talking about God with you. Yeah. And that's, that's something to be noted. Because when you be around people and they never even mention God like that, it's, it's kind of hard to relate to the fact of how we believe. So we got to figure out ways to inject truth and make it to where people can accept it in a way to where they'll want to build off of it too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, I never, ever get on any platform any platform or get connected to nobody if I do not bring that up. That's real. Because that's, as a man and as a king, it's my duty to spread the word in the gospel. Yeah. In the way that I can get it out. It's not being too churchy or p and It's just, I'm, I'm going to spread that word because no, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be a, 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 the man that God called me to be. Without doing it. That's I got it. a question. So um, would you ever go on a platform to do an interview if the person who is interviewing you don't believe in God? Uh, yes, I would go on there. I'm not going to force it because I'm, I'm the type of person I believe energy uh, can, 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 can move things. You know, so I, I, just, I just feel like uh, I go any platform. I'm never going to force God on Because even now, now, I never said what I believe in God. Now, I just said I'm going to spread the word. I'm going to spread yeah. the gospel. You know, so so in me spreading the gospel is not saying what you believe in. It's just I'm just spreading the word. I, I, I look at it as an opportunity. I got yeah. it. You know what I mean? For me, it's an opportunity. If you yeah. tell me you don't believe, I'm not saying I'm trying to convert you, but I'm going to show you this light. You know, a lot of times. Lead time, by example. It, yeah, because I want to be around you because that's the whole game. That's why I'm in it. Yeah. Because I'm light and I'm supposed to expose darkness. Mm, yeah. You feel yeah. me? So when I come in the room, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you some energy because I'm, I, I, I walk, yeah, though I walk in the valley in the shadow <laughs> of death, I don't fear no evil because at the end of the day, I know already who I am. Yeah. And, and you know, to, to make it clear, uh, that's the number one reason why I started Seven Kings. 
That's hard. That's the number one reason why we did the next dirty third, the next generation. It was all to spread the word of a righteous man and of a right of a righteous woman. You know, just we trying to tell people how you can make it, you, how you can leave poverty situation, uh, uh, drug situation, addiction, uh, all the things that consider negative in the man's eye. You can turn it into something positive. I like okay. that about y'all. I like yeah. the fact of how y'all done the spin as well. When I was mm. watching it, I'm not going to speak on it too much because yeah. I know others yeah. going to want to have to tune in. Right, but you don't want to spoil it I definitely nobody. know when I seen it, I seen the elevation and I seen the positivity and I seen where it was going in a way to where it comes from where we really come from mm -hmm. and try to pull us out of the fire. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't ready, man. But my I mean question is... I, I really need to write a book, nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm really good at this. You know what I'm saying? But you see, my question is, okay, so from where you're coming from and, you know, we like to talk about God. We try to live our lives right, but we're all human beings. That's right. And when you're dealing with an industry that some of the people don't believe that, yeah. some people are still battling, and you have that around you a lot, how hard is it for you to stay on your path? Because we're all human beings, and we fall at times, but we know that we can always get back up. How hard is it for you to be that light and not fall or maybe fall and still get back up? Um, it's very, very challenging and very difficult because, like you say, a lot of people in this industry, in the entertainment and film, they so far away from, from the word or so mm -hmm. far away from even trying to understand or see what God purpose in them in, in their life. Uh, I just feel like you lead by example. When people see you, uh, well, a lot of people look at me and say, man, people do you so wrong, Noah, and you still allow them back in your circle. Uh, the reason why I do that is because of the fact that I feel like love is powerful. Right. And when your enemy do you wrong, if you still can love them, eventually, their heart will eventually uh, understand the power of love. Mm -hmm. So I, sometimes I like to get in the room And some people had a wrong intention Oh I'm going I'm to cheat them I'm going to try to overcharge them Or we're going to try to set them up When you walk out of the we're going to set them up Take his jury, we're going to kill them But I feel like even when you step in that room And you give them positive energy And show them that even through all your negative thoughts That you got going on I still love you in a way But you know how some people say Well I'm, I'm a Christian, I love God But don't get it twisted You cross me and I'll still whoop you yeah, yeah, yes, uh, you know, uh, I, like some I always say, if you know, you know. And I sometimes I feel like I don't have to even tell tell people that, uh, you know, uh, you cross me, going to do it. Right. You know, it, it's, it's already, it's, it's an understanding, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, every time you see me, you know what I'm saying, I'm not by myself. Right. I, whether it's my girl <laughs> or, my, or my people, you know, people underestimate my beautiful girl and, and think that she <laughs> no she just pretty over there mm. but she believe me she she on post that's good you that's know? good to know that you, Man, yes. and then you know you got one with you to smile in the day she on post yeah, yeah like yeah. yeah like anytime somebody that keeps smiling at you you know i seen that in the movies yeah yeah you, they may do something to you yeah, you know sure. what I mean? hey, hey, <laughs> hey 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 you you'll be so busy you know Come and miss me, think about the chain, mm. think about, okay, he the one guy that this and this and that. But she got your back. Man, 100%. That's hard. Um, with, I saw you in a film, and but where do you intend for this film industry to take you? Because this is your is this your first film you're in? Yeah, this is my first one that, that I'm in, but I, I've been behind a few films. Okay. Uh, my sister, uh, Kay, uh, A Queens, uh, she kind of like the quarterback. She, she the Tom Brady. Mm. And so uh, even with her and Rick, when we started this, they wrote it and uh, they just kind of, I, I gave them some 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 vision on it. Mm -hmm. And I think what my sister did is just, uh, you know, she went to school, came a, a doctor education and she was a small one. So I think she sat around and just watched and seen, you know, my life. Mm -hmm. And so Rick had his own story. And so what they did was came together and she, she pretty much kind of like wrote my life. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, that had to be some of your life in there. Yeah, she, you know, you said, come from Mississippi, just pay attention mm -hmm. to the beginning move. You know, I'm from Mississippi. That's hard. And I, and I migrated and moved to Houston. So and that I, sister in there was your sister? It's, 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 <laughs> <you know? laughs> 
<laughs> I like I like the fact that you know the opportunity that's being given uh, with the people around you. When you come in here today, you got a lot of young faces around, man, and that's 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 a gift, man, mm -hmm. to be able to have young people and be able to influence them in the right way. Because I know what you are about, and I know mm -hmm. that you're looking to influence the kids in the right way. What? And I gotta ask you this because I'm in Houston, mm -hmm. and um, the other night uh, takeoff. Takeoff yeah. was uh, uh, killed here, mm -hmm. when, and 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 you being one that's you've been shot in the head, you mm -hmm. could have been dead. Yeah. So when you hear something like that happen, what what does what does that do for you? Like what what does that do to you? I have to ask. Now I can give you my opinion, but I got to hear yours. So, no, two things. I never question God. Wow. I never question God. So you know, RP first to take off. RP to take off. And everybody that was in that situation, you know, I pray for everybody. Yeah. Not just you know the ones that hurting, but the ones that did the hurting. Yeah. You know? Everybody. So you know, um, I just wish you know people can learn how to get along. Yeah. And be in a, a situation because our ancestors did so much for us to even be able to even be at a bowling alley. Yeah. Be able to jump on a flight and come into another city. Yeah. They 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 sacrificed so much for us to get here to get there. That sometimes I feel like we letting them down, and you know, and uh, so you know, I got real ties to Atlanta. I got good, good partners in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, like one of them, DJ Holiday. Yeah, uh, yeah. DJ Shout Screen. Out. Shout out Screen. You know, uh, so you know, I all jumped on the line because you know my phone was started ringing. blowing up. Yeah, like what happened down there? What happened down there? What's going on? You know, and uh, I couldn't tell you because I'd be so far removed. Like even you know when I start even see any negative, sometimes yeah. I don't want to be around it. No, it, it, it's not the right energy to and, be around. And so I feel like when, when uh, anything that I feel like putting yourself in danger, two things I'm going to do, I'm not going to say somebody or stop it. And so sometimes you got to pick the right battles with the time. So if I'd have seen somebody outside shooting dice, doing this, you know, I would have came to them and said, hey, this is not the place to do that. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I would have said something like that. And so, but, you know, it's not for me to judge and how they how they move and how they uh, they they carry themselves. But I just feel like you only as good as your team. And, like, even coming up here, you see my team, you know, before we even came over here, I had already sent somebody in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before I came, you know, yeah. hey, make sure it's right. Yeah, you know, Make yeah. sure it is. And they were like, oh, they're going to come downstairs and get you. I said, hey, this is not the type of building. Yeah. I won't have my team. We just standing around. That's right. I don't want no attention. That's real. That's real. And so when we come, I just want to be, be ready to go on, go up, mm -hmm. out of my business, be ready to come on back out. And even after the movie premiere, I came late. Yeah, yeah, checking the checking temperature. You know, yeah, I had, I met, so you your team is very important to your success and you living. And I call it not just in entertainment, it's in anything you do, any business, any any situation from – you're a small business, a small uh, tax firm. Mm -hmm. I need to have me another accountant to make sure I'm doing all this paperwork right. So yeah. I, I believe in your team. You're only good as your team. Like, I agree. Take, take, look at all these cameras you got around here. Yeah. You got to make sure this stuff is packed right, make sure you don't lead. Yeah, make everything sure got to be right. So that means obviously you got a good team. Man, you know I'm saying? the best. I thank so, God for it. And, and so I'm big on that. Yeah. And so when you're moving as an artist, like I always tell GSO Fat, man, what's your team like? Yeah, yeah. Because you're only good, like, like somebody I heard today, somebody said they feel like Chris Brown could be the biggest mogul that ever walked the planet. Wow. Over Michael Jackson. I can't, I, that, that's why hey, I'm You know, you know the last time <laughs> I interviewed, I told you Michael, Michael Jackson, my favorite. But when you go back and look at Chris Brown, Imagine if he had a Noah around him. That, Imagine if he had a positive people around him. Yeah, he'd be on it. He's on it now, and everybody around Chris Brown is negative. Wow. Everybody around him, tell him to do this and do this and do that, do this and do that. Imagine if he had somebody around him with some light, some guidance, some order, some stuff. I'm just throwing out there, Chris Brown. 
Yeah, because if you look at it, if you go go back to even the beginning of his uh, uh, career and you had the right guidance, you know, even though Mike had his issues with uh, his dad, but at least he had a dad. You got to understand that was in his life. That was a lot of time people don't understand, but they'll, they'll make up all these different scenarios of what this Joe Jackson was about. But family, yeah. family in its in, a, in its in its in its finest essence is. A family that's together like that, God is definitely watching that family, bro. So I really think, even though Joe was this or that, Joe had structure. Mm -hmm. Joe, yes. them, they, them boys knew they <laughs> couldn't do this or that without this happening. Yeah, and I think that says a lot. Yeah, and I think that's something that Chris was missing. I, uh, without a hundred percent, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And everybody talk down on that, but that's something that need is needed. Discipline is needed, and we mm. that's a strong word. Yeah, yeah. I got to talk to some of your people, man. Uh, what do you what, what what drew you to these guys, and 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 what are you looking forward to in 2023 man, dealing with what, Mike? What what grew me to them was cause. Okay, because I feel like every king got to have somebody next to them that that's smiles, that smile, protect them, want what's best for them, even when you think you know it, they gonna they gonna get you in line. That's hard, and so. The first shoot we did, he would want to do this way, and Costa would come. You can hear her coming a mile away. Ah, 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 ah. No, that's not right. Quiet on set. If you can't, you know, get out of here. Like that. Like you know. You like, act like me, huh? Like so she crazy. Didn't, so I said. <laughs> so so I knew. I said okay. I like her. And then um, the professionalism that they brought. Because um, my sister K big on professionalism. So, yeah. You know, like when you working with the like Universal and. And people like that, everybody got a sign. Like I knew when I first met y'all, yeah, yeah, I brought yeah. them paper, I sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to do that. So You got to. She was like, uh, we're going all the models got to get release statements. That's real. Like she she came. Brought about her, her business. She brought all the professionalism. And I have never seen but one other somebody ever do that that does that that we contracted to do. But when they did and they was doing this all independent and they was trying to understand by credit and Building a business and they was just they want trying to push. push. So that made me say, you know what? I want to take them and, and kind of like bring them to me because I know what God doing with me. Mm -hmm. and seven Kings, everybody's connected to me. I want that blessing to go towards them. That's all. Right. Because I always tell you, if it drip on drip rain on me, where well, you get a drip or you get a, some. It drips on you too. Well, I'm waiting on my drip. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, King. No, I ain't got no seven chain or nothing. Hey, I'll, I'll come out. I'm gonna have to change and get uh, these. Gonna be uh, changed colors. I'm gonna go with the white, the white, you know, gold, sweet, white yeah. gold looking. My cell phone hang boom. Oh, can I get a gold cell? Yeah. Y'all yeah, ain't got no gold cell. Yeah, they, they got the yellow the gold cell. Yeah, yeah. I got to have that. Yeah, that 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 yeah, yeah the gold cell. I got I got I got a yeah gold cell. That's what. Uh, Let me get that. that was you you can't cell. wear them both at the same time. No, Let me no, get that yeah. right there. I got one go perfect with what you got on. For real, I don't perfect. need to be big. I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm old yeah. school with it now. I used to do that. Go back and watch some old pictures. Yeah. But I had. Don't laugh at me. Yeah, they. T they t I had. I had the. Uh, you know, I had the Mercedes Benz yeah, symbol. It, you it's, know. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's seven grams of gold. I need that. Nice. It's, it's a just a solid seven gram. Gold piece. That's all, man. That's what they do. You know? Man, your 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 jewelry game. Ever since I met you, man, like <laughs> it's like no other. To be honest yeah. with you, I've seen some jewelry, but the way you bring it, <laughs> it's a whole different ball game, baby. <laughs> listen, listen, I was sitting one day the other day, and uh, the insurance. You know, my insurance called me. Like I tell everybody, you know, uh, you get to a certain level of life, it'd be like your bills different. Yeah, it's different. You know, and. Um, and sometimes people don't understand that. And I, that's why I'm, I'm trying to put, like, some Jay told me, some Slim, some Baby, all the people say, when well, you're going to the next level, you got to have boundaries. Mm. Because I feel like it's a whole nother side of me mm -hmm. that I feel like boundaries go when you based off that. But the core of me is I like the, you know, my name is Noah. I want to bring everybody in. Ooh. Y'all hear so, that? So that's hard. You now, if you're a biblical person like me, see that that went over some right. people's head, right. you know. But you really get you bring them in two by two. I see yeah. these two right here. Get them on in here. Yeah. <laughs> I like to bring like 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 literally. I can be going downtown. See, uh, my best friend at one point in time, like he was homeless, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and people walked past him. Yeah, he was he was he had a, a addiction problem. 
He was sleeping on the street. You ever say that's my best friend? Yeah, yeah. And and where is he at now? Where is he at right now? He uh he on vacation right now. Oh, but but uh he be home soon. Already. But that's my best friend, my brother. You know, and no matter he, what the situation, situation, and people look at him like, hey man, how are you here and you here and like and that's why I like to go. I call it rejected ones. The one who you count out, the ones you overlook, the one who don't have a bling bling, the one who might not have a car. Them the ones I want. Let me tell you something. Luke chapter 16 talks about Lazarus. Lazarus was a, a beggar. Mm-hmm. And he would lay by, uh, 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 you know, uh, the rich man's house. That's who they referred to as a, uh, another guy that was walking by him daily was a rich man. Mm-hmm. And the rich man and, and both of them died. But, you know, Lazarus woke up in Abraham's bosom. But the rich man just died, and he was in torment when he woke up. Yep. You know the story, but if you don't know it, you might check it out, because at the end of the day, it's all about how you handle the people that God put around you. I don't think it's a strange thing that the Bible says, be careful to entertain strangers, because thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Mm-hmm. And that's hard right there. That means when you meet somebody, you don't know if you're dealing with somebody that God sent put in your way. This boss talk one on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And, and so, so that's that's why I was, well, I seen in them that okay, they need they just dudes. That's real. And so I wanted to be a part of that just do because I really feel like Mike and Carson they're gonna be they're gonna be some of the greats to do it. Like Man. I just asked them about people, I feel like they're gonna be some of the greats to do to it. do it. And so I want to be a part of of that. Because yeah. Yeah. I get a pleasure out of looking at people that was connected to me, and I see them prosper, not just financially, but prosper as an individual. I like the way you guys move, man. I'm going to bring this guy on the team. Like, um, how do you pick? How do you know? Is it by discernment? What's going on? Um, yeah, what did you see in him to, to, to bring him on the team? We'll bring it right on back here, baby. Hey, <laughs> like I say, you know, Sonny is uh, very intellectual. Wow. You see him here down talking and stuff like that. He can, uh, he can, he can cross over and talk in other different uh, atmosphere outside of just entertaining. Yeah. So I seen a business side in Sony, as well as an artist, as well as an entertainer, as well as a father, but as well as a spiritual healer. I seen so much in Sony. Wow. Not just one thing. So he's a chameleon. He blend in. When he goes somewhere, he can he can just blend into that whatever yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. So I knew deep inside he was a king. That's hard. Now he, he he was born with it. He had the birthright. So I seen that in him. That's crazy, man. Like you name this man Seven Kings, man. You that's hard. That's something you man, gotta stand up listen, to. Listen, so man, this on everything. My attorney called me the other day. I don't want to put this out on the record. So like I feel like Certain things I say, you speak into the universe. I've been speaking seven kings and saying king, 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 king. I've been doing this since 2015. Mm-hmm. When the world wasn't screaming kings. That's right. You know, and now I see everybody hollering at kings and kings because I know who we are. And once you know who you are, you know, you, you we have a certain birthright. Mm-hmm. So I've been speaking this since 2015. So I always feel that, you know, different life lies in the tongue. I feel like I spoke that into the universe. Mm-hmm. And you can know ever since 2018, you know, everybody know when King Noah, it's a certain, I got a tag. You know how every company, you're building something, you got a brand, you got a tag. Yeah, yeah. I've been saying, if you know, you know, yeah. since 2018. Well, I, my lawyer was trademarking that. And he kind of hit me back the other day and said, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a, uh, it's already a trademark, but they not only do the abbreviation, they said out. They just did in October last month. Mm. Wow. I was like, whoa, for real? And he said, who who did it? I almost won't even throw it out there, but just know he the biggest in the game. The biggest in the game? He the biggest in, he the biggest in the entertainment field. He the biggest in, in business-wise. Wow. He's big now. Wow. And he black, black king. Wow. And he trademarked it and all told. I said, that, you know what that made me Confirmation. think? Confirmation. They let me know I'm on with something. Yeah. You Confirmation. Know what I'm because the biggest in the game they ever do it, trademarked that whole phrase that I was saying it way back in 2015. Wow. So they let me know, you know, I got some other stuff on the pipeline. That <laughs> they let me know. So I just feel like it's a process 
to do it. You know what I'm saying? When you're building something, when you're building a foundation, you're building a team, it's not, um, Nipsey said, it's a marathon. It's not just you get it right now. And in the beginning, that's how I was. I thought oh, we're going to hit fans, we're going to hit fans. But when you're building something, you got to find some people that on the same, y'all on the, y'all page turn together. Mm-hmm. And so Sonny always made me feel like we were together mm-hmm. from day one. I think outside of my system, Sonny might be the only person next to me that know every passcode, know my social, know my lung coach in my house, know everything. Sonny, that's a big, big, yeah. that's a big up. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. Too. Not for sure, for sure. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you know the, the things that you guys are doing are affecting lives. Yeah, and so it's like I'm holding this together, not just for the individual, not just for King Noah, but for everybody, his kids, my everybody, kids, everybody, like, yeah. they yeah. kids, everybody that's for linked sure. to you that y'all give the right hand of fellowship. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's big, but it's needed. So, so. it's our people need it more than anybody. Nah, no mm-hmm. question. It's so needed to fact. I look at all these people who come in, but they don't. They don't come like y'all, man. Yeah. I deal with a lot of people now. Yeah. And they come, but they're not organized like this. Yeah. Nigga, y'all came. Y'all went for that. I do me though. Let me just say that right now. Man, I got to have that. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> man, I gotta have my label on, and you know what I mean. Yeah. Because. It's something that I do. That's something I respect him for doing. It's something that we do, and it, it shows structure. Yeah, Again, no, no he never seen me not in uniform. Right. Mm. Ever since we've been hanging, ever since he met me, I even showed up the other night. I'm in uniform. Yeah. Because mm. I want you to know what we represent. Because really, the end game for me is to help a lot of people. Yeah. And I said that to say, man, like, what is the what is the thing in when it comes down to homeless or charity or what are you doing to help the people that are around you? Because I know you big on that. Man, you know, I do a lot for the church, for the community. Okay. Uh, that I don't, I don't like to even speak about I know you don't like to talk about it. Everything that I do, you know, like we feeding the homeless. Is it tomorrow? Sunday. They it's Sunday. Change yeah. Sunday. See, he know. <laughs> yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, so, so, so we feed the homeless and, and uh, you know, D Rick and, uh, you know, put that together. And, you know, of course, you know, when he puts them together, he always got my blessing. And so That's we hard. doing that. Uh, and so many homeless, you know, I always do it with Jay Prince. We feed the homeless with him. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, and of course, you no. Know, my Chicago family, we always doing stuff up there. I got stuff in LA we do. That's hard. Mississippi, uh, with the water. You know, so we And I know you don't like to talk about it, but it need yeah. to be spoken yeah. on because people need to understand that these things are happening too. They mm-hmm. can get a big misconception by seeing the presence of you and oh he got this, he got it. But they need to understand and if somebody needs some help that's really genuine, the spirit. The spirit will draw you to him. No, so, it's always going to lead you, lead you to him. It'll a, take you to him. Yep. Man, every every day I do something for somebody. That's all. I tell everybody, people don't understand uh, who wear the hat, the throne, uh, you know, the crown. That's a lot on your back. You know, uh, I haven't went a day over the last 10 years and I ain't had to help somebody. That's all. So it's 365, 365 days a year. It's not a day that I ain't had to help somebody. That's real. Ten years, and uh, and so sometimes people are like, how do you do it? And I just feel like I think God makes a way for me to do it. it physically, emotionally, mentally, I couldn't do it. You just heard what I said. Three hundred sixty-five days a year. Yeah. I have to do something for somebody. And I think it's because it's in you. And, it got to be in you. And I tell people all the time. Uh, that's not even count my biological children. These friends, distant relatives of people I don't even know. Man. That man. every day I'm doing something for somebody. Man, that's real, man. I ain't gonna lie. You got you got me over here listening hey, because And then I'm telling you, entertainment and music, I didn't do it for the finance. I didn't do it for the money. I did it because I wanted to help other people spread the message or whatever they wanted to say. And at the same time, I can get in a room where there's so much darkness and I can bring some light to it. That's hard. Because if a man that have light, 
interact with a man with darkness, I promise you, light is always gonna overtake it. That's overseed. right. And so you can come in there and want to kill. You can be just kill somebody the other night. I walk in that room. You gonna your country's gonna eat you alive. Yeah, yeah. Cause you in tune with God. That's right. And that's and that's the real. Yeah. So what you think about that? Yeah, man, that's all real. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 he said, man. Uh, the vision for 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 the label for the movement. It's all about about. A relationship with God and helping our people, helping our family. You know what I'm saying? Uplifting the fallen humanity. So that that's been the goal. Like even if you listen to uh to the music, you know what I'm saying? For fat music, to uh, everybody on label Tahi, you know what I'm saying? Butter the Prince. Everybody is speaking on. You know, you, you they might got some music. You know about about you know the struggle. You know how we grew up, but it's it's always some, some uplifting. You know what I'm saying? The other side of the struggle, you know what I'm saying? Make it about that struggle. That's, that's what it's about. That's, that's love, man. Like I said, it's it's something about uh, just coming together, too, with a group of people. The mastermind concept starts to play into mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And, and and something's going to happen. Even the authorities know that. That's why they fight against it a lot of times. Yep. When you put minds together like this, I automatically know God's going to do something big. And the devil knows it too. That's why it says that. The, the, it says, well, let me get it right. It says, uh, "Come on, a man believes one God and he does well. The devil also believes and he trembles. Hmm. Yeah. I give you a little and, nugget and, every now and then. And, and so, you know, <laughs> I'm going to drop a jewel right here. Let's go. So just, when you see Seven Kings, it's not just an entertainment company. Mm. You got to understand Revelation. Real talk. I've seen it. I know. So if you know what Seven Kings stand for, you know Revelation. And you know, I dropped the mic on them. Man, <laughs> hey man, yeah, that's real. I love all of y'all, everybody in this room. Everybody in this room, I'm praying for everything in this room, everything that move. Yes, all I'm saying is, man, thank y'all for coming on Boss Talk 101, man. Oh yeah, King appreciate Noah, having man, I love you, man, bro. I love you too. And that Dirty Third soundtrack. Oh yeah, Dirty oh, Third soundtrack on the way. It's like, going we, in. Oh, we got every, Pretty much everybody. I already right. know. Zero, uh, Slim Thug, Boston George, Boston George, Fast Propane, Lane. everybody. OTB Fast Lane, uh, Sauce Killer Walker, Calion. Killer yeah. Calion. Everybody. Yeah, it's a cla instant classic. For sure. Man, yeah. say, man, thank y'all for coming on the show, man. Appreciate you for yeah. having us. For real. Yeah, RP DJ Screw. Yes, Double sir. love. Man, we, we did did that, that was this week. What, didn't yeah. they do a tribute? Yeah. Or? Yeah. That's why That's yeah. why I rigged Pete to do the movie premiere. And, and, and reference of DJ Screw. That's right. That, that was his dog. So I yeah. got somebody coming from a DJ Screw brother coming yeah. over here today. So oh, so, yeah, that's, so that's that's the reason why we did that. That, that movie finna come out with that too. That's so it, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff going on. A lot on. of, lot of things turning and twisting. I, I already know how you doing it. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. Real G's moving <laughs> silent, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Man, check yeah. it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk.